Hi, right, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Uh, turn discuss further into shifted conics and now look at parabolas. And this is going to be pretty much the same uh, or same procedure that I did in my earlier video on shifting ellipses. And yeah, nonetheless, it's pretty interesting. So we'll do it separately for parabolas. So let's just jump right in. So shifted conics and parabolas. Recall from my earlier video on shifted conics, ellipses, and circles in which we can shift an ellipse by replacing x with x minus h and y with y minus k. And what I did there in my earlier video is if you have this ellipse like that with, uh, with the formula x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1, we can shift this all the way to here where the origin is 0, 0 initially, then the origin becomes h and k and we can do that by basically shifting every x and y coordinate here uh, by h and by k so that it goes over to here this new x and y coordinate and in order for that to happen we need to have these coordinates x minus h and y minus k so in other words we have the same formula but the x and y are going to be x minus h and y minus k so that we always need to shift by h and shift by k vertically and uh, h horizontally to get the exact same uh, ellipse but uh, over here with origin h and k. So let's just uh, jump right in. So you can see here uh, x, uh, x and y coordinate goes over to here x minus or it becomes this x minus h y minus k like that. So we need to shift this over to get the exact same shape with a different origin like that. So yeah, so let's do this now for a parabola. So this is in fact the same procedure for shifting a parabola. We can shift the parabola y equals ax squared so that its vertex, which is the origin uh, for this particular case, becomes the point h and k, uh, yeah, h, k as shown below. So let's graph this out. Let's draw a big one like this, big x and y, coordinate x and y. So now let's say there's the origin there and this is 0, 0, the point at this point. Now we have a parabola, let's just draw this like that, and this parabola is has the formula y equals ax squared like that. So just as in the ellipse one, we'll take a point here, and I'll call this x and y, just a generic point. Now we want to shift everything, or this entire parabola, somewhere above here, so that it's new vertex. Instead of the origin, it's going to be h and k like that. Yeah, so now that we have this over there, and I'm going to draw this in red. I'm going to draw the exact same parabola here. Just mirror it across because we want to shift it all the way across here. And it's going to have a new formula. Let's draw this a bit neater. Yeah, all right, so, so it looks something like this. And now this x and y point here, we're going to draw it somewhere over here. It's going to be the exact same point, x and y. Or maybe draw this inside because I'll need that space. y and x like that. All right, so here, as you can see here, we uh, well, this origin is shifted by h, and it's also, yeah, horizontally, and then shifted by k vertically. But since this x and y are this point here on this formula, and this one on this formula are the exact same relative to the origin, the difference is going to be, I'm going to draw this in red as well, just, draw, just like in the ellipse, and just draw this down like this, and this over here. And now what we have is that the height difference here is going to be k. This one's uh, h, so it's all just shifted h and k. And this x and y, the point here is all, uh, yeah, it's basically when we're using the new formula for this parabola, which we're going to show. Yeah, so then this x and y is for, or this just these variables are for this formula. This one's going to be for its own formula, like that. And I'll just draw it in red to make it uh, just view different from this one. So that's separated like that. But then this is x and, and, and y, so then the total. Uh, horizontal distance is going to be like this all the way across and that's just going to be well x that's just the coordinate like this so that's all the way x and then if it's x like that that means well the difference from uh, this one x minus h we get this distance across here so we get the coordinate for or the x coordinate for this point when we're using the other uh, formula so we get all the way across here this is going to be now x minus h and likewise vertically this height difference here is just or y like that this is y so then this one uh, y minus k is the distance from here to here in other words we get this point right like this this is just y minus k so then now this new point here is going to be 
x uh, minus h, the coordinates, and then this is going to be y minus k, like that. Yeah, in, in other words, what we have is this point x and y, and I'll write, write like this, so thus, and I'll just write thus as in the ellipse, thus we have the coordinate x and y get shifted, and I'll draw this in red. Yeah, so the, I'll just draw it like this. So now it gets shifted all the way to now this point, it's going to become x minus h, uh, y minus k. So that's the new coordinate when we're using this formula over here. So this point here becomes this, but in order to get this problem, we need to add h and k to every single point like this to get x and y. In other words, we need to shift it all the way across here. So all we need to do is, all we need to do is just replace x and x and y with these, right? This. So this is all we need to do in the formula to get to get it shifted. Yeah. So basically, notice that in shifting the parabola, this this one we just shifted. All we did was just replaced x by x minus h and y uh, by y minus k, like that. So we just need to replace every single one. I'll, I'll get to the formula in a bit. Uh, basically, so oh yeah. In, in other words, to obtain the new values x and y that are in red above of the problem, we need to add h to every x value and k to every y value. So then basically when we switch these like this, then what we need to do is, well, we have x minus h. Then we need to add h to every single uh, new value like that to get to the shifted parabola. And also if we have y minus k like that, we need to add k to every single point like that so that they just cancel we get the y over there and then we get well this equals to just x and y and this is our new values new values and then here uh, these are our old ones like here and we're adding the h there so it's the old this is the old like that old values yeah, so in other words, what we have now is thus, uh, thus we have y equals 2ax squared. Then what happens to this one is, well, this becomes, I'll just write it like this, this becomes, now when we shifted, after shifting, yeah, after shifting, so we're going to do it to every single x and y uh, variable, so we have y minus uh, k equals to a x minus h squared. So we have this, or just move this over to the other side to make it neater. So if y equals to y equals a x minus h squared plus k. So this is our new formula. Yeah, so thus that's the new formula over there. And we could just write that down in red over here. So then this formula is going to be y equals to a x squared, actually it's going to be a x minus h squared plus k. Yeah, and that is that formula over there. So in other words, we have a y equals a x squared in black like this. Now to get to this point, we just we just change x and y by writing uh, minus, yeah, y minus k and x minus h, so that to get to over here, we, need, we always need to add h and k, and then we'll end up getting, well, the exact same formula, like that. And also another note, if h equals k and it equals to, oh yeah, which all equal to zero, then there is no shift and the vertex of the problem is still the, the origin. So basically, yeah, if this is just zero, this is zero, we still get our y equals ax squared. Anyways, that is all for today. If you followed along this uh, quick video, hopefully that wraps your head around just getting through the uh, yeah, procedure of how the uh, shifting works. But it's pretty, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty uh, straightforward once you just plug in numbers and see what happens. You always are going to be just shifting it by uh, the number uh, yeah, H and K. Anyways, all for today. Thanks for watching. Like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below, as well as viewing these notes on Steam. It's, Steam is to follow me at MES, and also check out my cool math forums. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.